What is up, YouTube? So I just uh, figured out, I just fixed a problem that I had with um, a uh, Java program that I was trying to run. It's a sample program that I got pretty much straight from my textbook. You can find it online. Um, again, it's one of those Hello World uh, programs. Basically, it's using Java FX to create a small window. So I can go ahead and run this. I'll show you what it does. Basically, it just creates a small little window. It says Hello World. It's got a little button here that says Hello World. And if you click on it, it prints out Hello World. Um, it's all it does. Really simple. Um, just the beginning of JavaFX. But the interesting thing is I was getting a crazy error. And you try to run it. You're going to get this huge error here. And it's going to give you this uh, exception in application start method. Blah, blah, blah. And it took me so long to kind of figure out what it was. And it was really stupid. Um, simple, simple issue that I thought I fixed. Or I thought I already did. Um, but I'm just going to create a quick video to right now to show you guys uh, what caused that error. So anyone else who may be um, having this error, uh, hopefully can uh, Google search the, the error or um, JavaFX um, runtime error and find this video because this video will help a lot. Um, if you did, I mean, if I mean, my school actually gave me a little video to watch and showed me how to set this up. Um, but anyway, I'll just get into what the actual issue was. So the issue was a uh, um, a configuration here in my controller, and what it was basically my virtual machine options. Um, so this is all of this basically sets up a path for your um, for your virtual machine to basically find the classes it needs to find um, at runtime. So it needs to find. Um, the uh, Java FX XML, um, the controller, and the graphics. And what happens is, if you take this out, basically that is that's what um, is causing that. And I, the reason it took me so long to kind of catch it is because I went through the whole tutorial that my um, instructor gave me, and I thought I set it up right, but unfortunately, I um, I ended up putting it into my main. So when I went into my configurations, I had my main set up like that, but the code I'm using is my controller, not the main. So this doesn't really help me at all. And so I just had it wrong. I had it in the wrong, um, the wrong file is all. Uh, I guess a simple error, but uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one that probably did it. And I just wanted to kind of get that, get that there, um, get a video out there, and I'll try to make the description. I might even put this whole error in my description because. I know when I'm trying to search for fixes, I end up just uh, copying and pasting stuff into Google and see what shows up. So maybe I'll throw that in my description, kind of help you guys find it. Uh, put in any other keywords that I can think of in the description to help you guys um, find out how to fix this. Um, also, let me just go take another look at this. Um, so this basically, what you do, you want to do module. Um, this is going to be exactly identical type that in, the dollar sign. This is going to be whatever you want to name it. So this name can change. Um, I set it up exactly how they did in the tutorial and just set up path underscore to underscore FX. But you can make that whatever you want. And then this is gonna be the same. You're gonna add modules. All this is gonna be the same after that. So javafx.xml, comma, javafx.controller, comma, javafx.graphics. The other thing you want to be careful of is you want comma no spaces. If you put spaces between these, uh, it won't work. So the only places you want the space are right after modules, and then right after your name, and after path. So there's three spaces in this entire block of text. Everything else should just be connected um, by commas here. So after you get that and uh, you save it, you want to go to your um, settings. And then down here at the bottom, underneath appearance and behavior, you're going to have path variables. This is where you can add that. You can see I've already added it, but you just click on this little plus sign. You type in your, um, you type in whatever your path name is, and then you want to click on the file that those path, that the path goes to. So all those classes on my computer are in my downloads folder, 
Um, this is what I downloaded. This is the Java, this is the Java SDK. So you want to download this. You probably might be a different version, but you'll download that. It might be a zip file, so you want to un unzip it first. Go to the unzipped file folder for this JDK. Click, uh, just go down until you see lib. That's going to be your library. So that's where you want this path to lead to. So you click on that, click OK, and that'll that'll be you name it whatever, and then you go to that path, that library folder, click OK, and it'll add it here to your path variables. And then that's all you need. Once it's in here, and you have that statement inside your configurations, then you'll be able to run your uh, your GUI through FX. Um, hopefully that covers everything and that helps explain everything. The other thing that may not be working too um, is just your libraries in general. So if you go to project structure and you go to libraries, you can add a library. So you have added this and that's basically following the same principle that we just did. You'll go to like, you'll add a Java library and then you just go right to that folder again. So like in my computer again, it's in downloads right here, this Java, then lib. And you click on that, press OK. That'll add your library to your project structure. You want to do that as well. Um, that should be everything in order for you to start uh, using these JavaFX programs um, that way. Now I'm going to start actually um, copying a lot more of the, the examples in my book and just kind of messing around with them. But this got me stuck for a while so I wanted to create a video and uh, I'll just throw it up on YouTube and like I said I'll put all the errors in the description and try to help you guys out if anyone else is struggling with this too. So hopefully this helps.